Hi guys, so this morning I thought we could talk about some of my favourite art products from 2018. So many of these you've probably seen in other videos, but hopefully some things, um, you know, I've kind of condensed it all and hopefully there's a couple of things that you, um, that are new or exciting. Um, so this is my, um, so I guess my first and favourite thing of this year is watercolours and um, especially this watercolour palette. So how many even, um, so this watercolour palette box which I've talked about on here and I really really love it. Um, so that would be have to be first and foremost one of my favourite um, art supplies for this year. I also added um, a gouache to the palette so that I can basically put the gouache down and then add any watercolour to it and the that um, you know will colour the gouache and then I can use the watercolours as gouache as well so I really enjoy that aspect of it. Um, let me see if I have an example of that. So like here for example you can see I've kind of, so these are watercolour peaches and then here's one that I've used um, with the gouache. Here is, here are some, so these are watercolour roses here and then this is a gouache rose that I was kind of working on there. I didn't finish it but you can kind of see the difference there. Um, it, it makes the watercolours more opaque um, versus like how transparent these ones are and you can see straight through to the um, paper. I'm enjoying kind of looking into that more in um, 2019 and then my second favourite palette of this year is my little schminke palette which I really love which has the Rivervale um, colours in it so still one of my great favourites. Um, I guess my next favourite thing would be my inks. I love my inks um, especially the Winsor & Newton gold ink. So this is a Winsor & Newton gold drawing ink and you can see there how the gold settles and you've just got to shake that. Um, I love the Dr. P.H. Martin Silver. Uh, and I love this um, De La Rani FW Shimmering Green. They would be my top three favourite inks. And then I really love the um, Dr. P.H. Martin's Raspberry 49D. And I quite like those eco lines, but um, and this one has become quite a fan. But as far as it goes, like th this is my most used, second most used, third most used, and then probably this one, and then this one, I'd say. So, really love those. Um, so, one of the things that I use with the watercolors are these. Uh, watercolor sort of the water containers and so I just wanted to show these because even though they're not an exact sort of art supply um, it is something that I mean you can paint with a plastic cup and I have many times but this is just something that makes the whole experience a little bit more aesthetic and a little bit more special and kind of inspiring um, this here is a Royal Albert cup and just from Amazon. Um, this is one actually that I got at, um, a couple of weeks ago at my local organic shop and I was really kind of debating this. It was a little bit, it was like eight or nine dollars and I was like, oh, do I really need a cup, you know? Um, but the funny thing is since I've got it, it has been in use almost every day, not necessarily by me, but by somebody. So I'm thinking that this is a, a well um, well worth the investment and you know it seems to get a lot of love so and then this one I got um, from Womb Sonoma a couple of Christmases ago and I just still really love it sometimes I use it as a water container 
sometimes um, just for other kind of items that like I'm using at the time um, I guess the next thing that matches with watercolor would be this this is my favorite uh, pencil and it's the Faber-Castell graphite aquarelle or their watercolor lead pencil I'm, you, you've probably heard me talk about it it's the 2b that's probably my favorite and you can get these just singly just individually off Jackson's art or in a pack off Amazon um, so my, probably my next favorite thing is these Blackwing uh, Palomino pencils so these are kind of new to me this year and it says half the pressure twice the speed and these have been so well loved in our family um, you get the really nice box with it and they are just really beautiful pencils to use so probably the next thing in my top favorites is this um, superior labor leather pencil roll or leather pen roll from um, I got mine from Baum Kitchen and I will link it below but I do have a video about it as well I really love it I um, I feel like the leather could be a little bit better quality, um, but I do still love it and I use it, you know, all the time. So um, it's definitely one of my faves, and it holds actually my other favorite um, shrinker palette, which is the limited edition gold palette. I, ooh, I'm actually afraid to use this because I don't know what I'm going to do when the colors run out. So. Um, Okay, so I suppose the next thing would be these pencils. So I started collecting um, pencils this year and my sister and my mum have always collected pencils and they've loved the pencils. They've got Derwent's, they've got um, the Faber-Castell, the um, Prismacolor pencils and I've never really been big into pencils and I was watching um, Kirsty Partridge art and she just does incredible things with pencils so I thought uh, I need you know a few pencils and I actually do really like the way that they look over watercolor so so let me show you this it's not exactly finished but uh, I just really enjoyed sort of seeing the way the pencil um, can make those subtle changes um, in tone and everything over the watercolor so this one you know I mucked it up and then I just kind of um, didn't finish it but I I would love to kind of do some more of that in 2019 and I'll probably do a bit more of an in-depth video on some of my favorite pencils but um, you know sometimes the Prismacolors don't get a very good review but I actually really like these my sister has always been a huge fan of them and I think it's just the um, artwork on the box that has kind of always um, turned me off but I really like them and you can actually get these in singles at Michael's so you can just pick a couple of colors and try them and I really like how creamy they are um, I got a couple of these luminance ones and they, they're really expensive like three dollars a pencil and I'm just not a huge fan of them um, I do like the polychromos and I do like um, as far as watercolor pencils go I am a big fan of these two the um, so these are both Karen Dash, I'm not sure if you can see them there. The Super Color Soft and the Museum Aquarelle. I really love both of those as far as watercolor pencils go and just pencils in general. They're really beautiful. Um, so I will do like another video kind of going over what I have here. As far as like chalk pencils go, these are the Stabilo Carbothellos. And I also love these as well, but they do leave like they're a chalk. They're not kind of a pencil. So they are going to leave that um, texture on your page. But um, that's just another thing that I have really enjoyed kind of working with this year. I, really, I actually really love these, the Credicolor Monoliths as well. They're really beautiful as well. So they're just completely. 
So they are a watercolour pencil, but I really just like them as a pencil. I'm, I'm quite fond of those. Um, probably one of the last things that I have kind of recently really enjoyed is this um, pack of Saunders Waterford 425 GSM. So this is really thick paper. It is not, which means it's cold pressed. It's not hot pressed and it's not rough and it's um, 11 by 15. So I just get these off Amazon and I am really enjoying being able to do that and use this kind of really thick paper. So you can see here it's um, it's got the decal on one edge and then the other edges are, um, and you can see kind of how thick that is. And it's, you know, professional cotton um, watercolour paper. So it's really, really high quality and it's beautiful paper. But yeah, so that is my kind of favourite art supplies from 2018. And there's a couple of kind of new and exciting things I'm thinking about for um, 2019. But we'll see how that goes and I will let you know as I can. So I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. So before I go, I nearly forgot, this is one of my other favourite things from this year. So this is the Legion um, Stonehenge colours. It's, um, you can, hopefully you can kind of see here. So there's five different colours in this pack. So this is just a small pack to kind of trial it. But I really do love these papers. I love this colour. Um, I don't mind that colour and I love the grey colour. So... I definitely want to get a large pack of this for this year and try that out. So something else that was a favourite find this year.